like to warn you know that is Usher and Jeezy on that one as well. Love in this club. It is uh, 841. More today's artist music is on the way. Peter, it's, uh, it's here. What's up, ladies? They've been hanging out with us since, uh, since 8 o'clock. Yeah. Hey. Christina, and how do you pronounce your Sorry. name over there? Oh, Ariella. Ariella. All right. Nice. I got that down. So Ariella is from uh, New York. She's here from New York. Um, Lindsay, you're here from Michigan. That's and right. And then uh, Christina is here from Louisville. So you guys came into town today to protest out of KFC. So tell us about what you guys got going on particularly today. Today we've got two ladies bearing all at the KFC on Jackson Street. Mm -hmm. Wearing nothing but a banner that says the naked truth, KFC tortures chicks. Nice. Wow, I, I did notice something when you guys walked into the studio. I noticed that uh, you're not naked right now. <laughs> What's the deal with that? Oh, should we have come in the band? No, right? no, no, no. Yeah. Maybe just for, you can go out there and see it, them later. It would have made for great radio had you been naked. <laughs> oh, right. But now you're not. It's just going to be kind of like, uh. Well, you uh, can come and hang out with us from 12 to 1 today and see the, the okay. ladies in the banner. Oh, I'll be there. All right, so, so I... Lindsay, me and you have had this conversation before right. about, you know, people ignoring the message and just kind of focusing on you guys basically being naked out there today. Do you feel like that's taken away from the message? I mean, you know, how do you feel about that? Well, I think that we live in a tabloid society mm -hmm. and that unfortunately a lot of times the facts just aren't interesting enough for people. And so what we do is we try to make them more fun and interesting to engage people's attention and then, and then we lay it on them. Right. And that's what we'll be out no there doing today. <laughs> so, so now is the message, let me try to get the message right. The message is don't eat chicken, if you don't eat chicken, hot naked women will want to get busy with you. No, that's not the message, right? That's, isn't it? Well, it might be that if you don't eat at KFC today, we'll give you a free DVD with Pamela Anderson on it. Yeah, I have the internet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so, okay, so you guys are going to be out there. You actually are preparing some food for us right now, which we'll talk about coming up on the next break. I just want to say I do not agree with the whole being naked out there. I just think... I mean, there's a better... I've tried it. Well, I, <laughs> I just, I just uh... think it's kind of... Okay, here's a story I read yesterday, okay? And I was going to covered this yesterday, but I saved it for today because I knew you guys were going to be here, as uh, that Peter was uh, pecking away at NASCAR fans for doing the chicken dance at a, at a race event. They're, they're yeah, trying to sick. set a world record uh, that has some uh, some 125,000 fans at a uh, speedway this past Sunday shaking their tail feathers, doing this chicken dance, and Peter had a problem with that. That is so stupid oh. to have a problem with a dance. It's, it's, we don't have a, a problem with NASCAR fans at all. Right. In fact, I went to the Daytona 500 one year mm -hmm. and gave out free faux fried chicken to fans, oh. right. and I had a great time. Right. Um, but we just, you know, it was really a, a publicity stunt on the part of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh -huh. And so, you know, we wanted to get the message out there that, you know, KFC is not a fun thing. Okay. Um, especially for birds. A lot of them are scalded to death in vats of hot but, water. But now so it's not it, it's not KFC that slaughters the chickens though. It's uh right. what is it? Who, who does it? They have a number of suppliers. They don't really okay. disclose them so all. So why why KFC? Like, you know, why why not uh, other chicken places? Because they get their chicken from the same place everybody else does, don't they? Right. Uh, we're actually we have a campaign against McDonald's as well right now. McDonald's oh. and KFC are the two top purchasers and sellers of chicken. So you guys are just going after the big dogs, not the little people. Right. They they all share some suppliers, and if you hit the bigger people who have the ability to require their suppliers to make changes, it's going to affect everyone across the board. All right, you guys are going to stick around. I'm going to take a break, and we'll talk to uh, Peter once again. If you guys have any questions for them. Uh, give us a buzz, 534-496-9. I want Triple Eight in front of that. It's so free. Got the forecast coming up next. Rock on. What's up, Peter? Hey, uh, they, they they have cooked us something. All right, Lindsay, what did, what did you uh, what did you guys whip up here? Oh, well, we've got some uh, faux fried chicken this morning. Okay. We uh, swung by the Walmart in Paducah, and we picked up some Morning Star veggie chicken patties. All right, so we're going to try these things out real quick. Mitch, what do you, uh, I'm trying can to we get a live, sauce, can man. we get a live t uh, taste here? Yeah, yeah. We want your honest opinion now. I will give you my honest opinion. I'm not even worried about it. Let's see here. I can't use the tuna pig though, because I'm just sloppy like that. All right, here we go. He likes his meat sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> That's damn good. You, you like right, it? That is good. For that? Yeah. Okay. All right. No chicken in that. No, 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 no. No, no chicken. 
All right, so uh, coming up in just a bit, you guys can continue to give us a phone call. Uh, if you got questions for Peter, 534 4969. One triple eight in front of that is so free. They're going to be. Yeah, go ahead. I just did want to clarify something. You guys aren't necessarily, you know, hardcore promoting uh, not eating meat in general. You're just for the ethical treatment of animals, right? Well, we absolutely promote a vegetarian diet, and we want people to have those choices. But yeah. there are steps you can take. KFC can easily clean up their act and make this much less cruel for the birds. Yeah. The KFC restaurants in Canada have actually already started doing this, and they even offer a faux, a vegetarian chicken sandwich in their restaurants now. And you oh, mentioned wow. there were more ethical yeah. ways to slaughter chickens. Mm -hmm. Like, are you opposed to uh, choking the chickens? <laughs> <laughs> That's that's gratuitous. Oh, What's funny? <laughs> All right, I just see you know cutting off their air supply, you know, choking the chicken until they pass away. It just seems like be an ethical seems like be an ethical way to do it, right? What oh. we're asking for that KFC <laughs> Canada is already done. I'm just saying. <laughs> It's called CAK, and it's basically painless for the birds and kind of puts them to sleep. Okay, all right. We got more with Peter coming up in just a bit. We got the buzz on the way next. If yeah. you want to give us a buzz, uh, give us a call. 534-496-1888 in front of that is still free. Hang on.